Hi, I'm Abby Lindy, pharmacist and owner at Beaverdam Hometown Pharmacy, and today we'll talk about probiotics. So it seems like every day a new study comes out linking our microbiome to chronic health conditions, whether it's immune function, mood, bowels, um, and for pharmacists, a lot of what we encounter is antibiotic-associated diarrhea complaints. So probiotics can be something that get recommended a lot. I recommend it a lot in my pharmacy. When we think about the microbiome, we kind of think of it as having three functions. Protective function, so it displaces pathogens. Structural function, so it helps to make sure that the cells are tight together and intact. And metabolic functions, so it's synthesizing vitamins and helping to absorb nutrients. And so when we take probiotics, um, sometimes people think that those, we take the probiotics and they re-inoculate or colonize in our gut and we help to build more of the good bacteria, good bacteria in our gut. But what really happens is we take the probiotic, it moves through the gut performing those protective structural and metabolic functions and then actually moves on through. They're, they don't become permanent residents in our gut. Um, so that's kind of a, a myth I like to help educate about. When I think about um, the use of probiotics, there is some specific data for specific strains in specific conditions. And so if patients have um, conditions that match up with specific strains, it can be useful to use those specific product. But in general, um, I like to use a general probiotic like orthobiotic because it has such a wide range of strains. So there are seven strains in the product and they cover the wide range of what's in the microbiome. One of the strains is Saccharomyces boulardii. That strain specifically has been found to be beneficial in reducing the incidence and severity of antibiotic associated diarrhea. So this is a really great product to recommend for patients get, getting an antibiotic. The other thing that's really great about the orthobiotic product is that they test to make sure that at the expiration date it actually contains as many colony forming units as it states on the label. So many products only state how many colony forming units there are at the beginning, you know, when it's manufactured, and obviously at the expiration date then there would be less. So that's one really nice quality assurance with orthobiotic um, is that. The other thing that's really great is it doesn't have to be kept in the refrigerator. Um, one of the other products that we use a lot has to be kept in the refrigerator and that is a problem with adherence. So in terms of who I recommend this to, people who are healthy, I generally recommend that they try to get their probiotics from food sources. So that's fermented foods like kombucha, good yogurt, uh, sauerkraut, real pickles, those types of things. And if they're not able or not willing to eat those foods, which is actually a lot of people, I recommend a general probiotic like this. Um, for people who are having trouble with the cost, because this is a little bit more of an expensive product because it's so high quality, I often recommend to try to eat fermented foods on some days of the week and on the days when you're not able to get those fermented foods, then you can supplement with orthobiotic. The other thing is um, I like to recommend this for people who have those chronic health conditions I was talking about, so immune conditions, inflammatory conditions, um, who are getting on, people who are getting on antibiotics. Um, and I find that it actually is helping a lot of people. Um, I have people who come back month after month after month. Um, some people started buying the bigger bottles so they can go two whole months um, getting this product and just have heard really, really good feedback about orthobiotic in general. So if you have any questions about probiotics or you want to talk about them, feel free to give me a call at Beaverdam Hometown Pharmacy.